YouTube, Shukun Shinobi here, and I am reviewing the SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider the Bee and the Zek Trooper Shadow version. Uh, these were released about half a month or so ago, and I just got them from HLJ through the free shipping promotion they had a while ago. Um, as far as packaging is concerned, uh, they are pretty much standard for Figure Arts. Uh, you got the black and white picture of the rider on this side with Mass Rider the B on all three sides. On the back you have his logo in the background, a picture of him standing there with a couple of the Zek Troopers and then just showing off his posability and his accessories. Um, really nice packaging as always. Uh, definitely keeping the box like I have been. Uh, they're small, they're easy to store. And I store the alternate weapons in them. So yeah, uh, Zek Trooper is the same thing, uh, Zek Trooper Shadow version, uh, picture of the Zek Trooper right here, and then just a picture of the group of Zek Troopers on the back. Um, it's kind of like the first figure art that you kind of want to buy multiples of to build an army, but uh, considering these guys are like 20 something bucks a pop, there's no way I'm building armies. Uh, but let's go ahead and start with the B. Well, he's one of my favorite riders because he reminds me of Bumblebee and his his suit design is just pretty much really badass. Uh, nothing extra in the package here, just the normal paper. Okay, so here's the B in the package. Uh, not that much comes with him, considering he was a slight bit more than the normal figure arts. Uh, you get the B with uh, closed B sector, uh, full B sector, and just two alternate hands. Um, usually there's a whole line of hands, and in fact there's usually too many hands. But uh, let me just get this open. Okay, so let's bring the camera down. Uh, the hands that it comes with alternately are kind of like the default little molesting hands. Uh, let's pop them out here. Uh, joints are pretty tight, so that's good. Uh, let's get them stood up so I can position the camera. Like... So that works. Okay, so uh, this these pieces right here are solid, uh, but his arms do go up. It doesn't really hinder the arm too much. It just can't go up like this. Uh, but he's pretty much got the same arm configuration and same kind of pretty much the same body configuration as the other Kabuto riders. Uh, his knees are fully in there, unlike Decade and end. Um, not that I particularly mind or anything. In fact, I'd rather have all the Kabuto Riders be built the same. Uh, standard articulation for figure arts, uh, shoulder, neck, upper neck, um, wrist, hand, thigh, knee, toe, foot, ankle, middle of the stomach, uh, any joint you could think of, this guy has. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put the opened, the B sector on there, uh, because the other one doesn't make sense. Uh, you never see him with the closed B sector in this mode. Um, it's always open when it's in this mode and then when he flips it back over it's the put on feature so I don't know really why it's there I guess it's just to be complete uh, I really really like this um, really detailed awesome looking and it it completely depicts the awesomeness that is the bee um, I'm probably gonna keep both of his hands in fist mode uh, I usually switch one of the hands but uh I think I'm going to go with 
fists for this guy. It just seems to fit more because he was all punchy. So go ahead and put him back here. And close up the box. Alright, now on to the Zect Trooper. Uh, I'll just do this really quick. Open it up. Again, nothing special within the package. Uh, here's the Zect Trooper in the package. He comes with him, obviously, uh, the big arm cannon that they all have. And he comes with four alternate hands. So he's pretty much a normal figure at its release. So here's the Zek Trooper. Uh, again, same base molding as the other Kabuto Riders. Uh, he feels he's very lightweight, though. Um, like with the B, the feet is die cast. But uh, he's very plastic. You can tell right when you get him out of the packaging that he's very lightweight. Uh, that's perfectly okay. I guess they probably did it to keep the cost down a little bit. He is cheaper than some of the other figure arts. I guess they were keeping in mind that people would want an army build. Uh, but yeah, he doesn't have any metal in him at all. Besides the pins and stuff. Uh, but overall, it's kind of pretty boring. So I'm going to pop off this hand... I think I have to pop off the hand. Yeah. Pop off this hand, and then I believe it goes like this. And then, then mess up. This certainly isn't easy. See, it ends up getting pushed up like that. Uh, if I don't get it on this trial, I'll just kind of quit. I'm going to do this off camera. Okay, so here's the Zek Trooper. I finally got that stupid little gun on. Uh, total pain in the ass. I, It's not coming off. Um, he's forever going to have a Mega Man arm. Uh, I went ahead and switched his hand with one that could hold on to the gun. Um, he comes with the punchy hand as a default. And then hands that could hold on to the gun cannon. And then the standard common Rider Molester hands. So, he's a really good figure. Um, it's kind of disappointing that he doesn't have the heft that the Riders do. But uh, I guess it's to be expected if they wanted to keep the cost down. Um... The detailings are really nice in the armor and everything. The helmet sculpt's really good as always. Um, pretty much what you've come to expect with the figure arts line. So it's it's not a disappointment by any means. I highly recommend it, especially if you're going for a Kabuto display like I am. Um, it's definitely worth it to at least have one of these guys. Uh, just for awesome effect. So that is about all for these guys. I will be shifting into a photo gallery right after this so uh i hope you enjoy it and overall highly recommended so until next time please subscribe if you enjoy and i will see you guys later